this dump that we're seeing on Quant was actually called by myself back in November last year and I was getting consistent hate for talking about this day after day, week after week, month after month. People were saying, I'm so tired of hearing this stuff, but we were right, guys. And it's so annoying that people were so close-minded and didn't want to hear about it when you can see it was eventually the reality. And this is simply because how significant this dump was. I was calling from over here at the end of last year in November and December for a dead cap bounce on Quant. And that would be a big dump to the downside, giving us an immediate pump after that to trick everyone. Me then suggesting we're gonna come up to the golden pocket and then the last layer of defense being the 786 at 190. So I was also saying back then we could come up to 190 and this still be bearish and then us coming back down to those key levels of support, completing this dead cap bounce. So I was here back in November last year calling for this and no one wanted to hear it. So guys, please go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, and I hope you do enjoy today's update. Uh, so now what we need to see from this point over here is a loss of this key area of support. So this is what we've been waiting for for these past months over the summer period or well, even before that, since April. And we were just consolidating, but I was con consistently telling you guys, we have head and shoulders patterns. We have descending triangles over here. We have all these bearish patterns. We're just waiting to see, will this 94 to $100 area actually give in? And this is what we were saying from November last year. And the amount of hate is actually ridiculous. Again, all I'm doing is sending you guys the messages. Pretty much, I'm the messenger. Whatever I say, it's not always what I want to see, but it's the messages that are being given to me. And with the five years of market experience, I'm gonna re regurgitate and tell you guys the facts, what these things and the signs in the market actually do mean. Not, I'm not going to ignore it and just say quant to a million like all these other people do. And that's all you guys want to hear. Unfortunately, I'm one of those people that want the reality more than you guys. I, sorry, I want the end goal more than you guys. So I'm not gonna ignore the reality like everyone is. So that's why if you stick around on the channel long enough, you see the predictions that might take a one year plus. Predictions might, make, might take three months. I might say quant is about to crash. Just because I say that, for example, doesn't mean today it's gonna to crash, tomorrow it's gonna to crash. It could take months to actually crash, but the early signs are there. I'm always trying to give you the earliest of signs so I can send you those messages so you can prepare as much as possible. You've had a lot of months to prepare. And again, guys, since November, as we were coming down over here, I'm saying that, that this was all going to happen. It's just the time period is the question. No one knows how long something will take. Just that if there's signs there that this thing could potentially happen, I'm gonna relay that message. And then we can see there's a validation and invalidation points we've validated them and so we're going to uh, we're basically heading to the downside and i can get you targets to the downside and these were targets that i mentioned back then in november last year which was pretty much 70 80 to 80 dollars but i'm going to show you today how we could be coming a bit lower than that and in the past few updates i have shown you this ascending support over here so go ahead and draw this channel if you want you don't need it but this could be the layer of defense that we're coming back down to. Now I'm going to just zoom into the four hour time frame to see and then turn on the drawings and we can see this uh, capitulation continue, uh, continuing. So what we were saying over the last few days on the channel is while we are still below $92.50, we're going to be continuing to these final sets of two targets over here. We've seen the completion of that. We're not getting enough likes on these videos for the amount of information. I'm literally analyzing the chart <laughs> for free like we're nearly with 100 well i'm not going to say 100 percent accuracy but i'm doing this with such accuracy we're not getting enough engagement i want to see more comments on the videos daily so i see that appreciation for the because i don't need to be making these videos i don't really care what happens on the day today but i make it for you guys so if we could get more engagement if we can get more likes if we could get like closer to 200 likes per video we've got more than enough people watching these to get to 200 likes per video if we can get multiple comments Come on guys, I need to see that engagement and with that we're gonna grow as a YouTube channel so people are not just watching those crap quant videos that's saying, oh, you need to have 1,000 quant tokens, oh, we're going to 
ten thousand dollars in next like next year and all this nonsense garbage here we're, you're going to find the reality or as close to that as possible looking at all the scenarios not just up <laughs> when we've just been going down so the reality was maintained below this golden pocket we are going to meet all these targets and we've basically met all the targets i've been showing you move for move even since this point over here the, with the bullish divergence and the bearish divergence and then all of these points we've been going through and it's been following our analysis top 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 notch now going back to the five day time frame over here if i can get rid of this now because i just had to show you what was going on today uh, we've got targets to the downside out of these patterns which we were calling for the past year and people not wanting to hear a word of it so uh, let me just redo this neckline so this would be a head and shoulders neckline. Where is the head and shoulders, Louis? The head and shoulders is shoulder, head and shoulder. And then we can see the loss of the neckline. So we wanna get a target to the downside and this would be your target to the downside over here. And we've met the more, um, we've met this target already. However, there is more aggressive one. That's what I was trying to get at. More aggressive one over here. Let's see if we've met that target. If not, it was gonna happen soon. So yeah, we've just about met that target, the more aggressive one. However, <laughs> that's not it, guys. There's a further head and shoulders pattern between this point and this point. Now, this was the actual head and shoulders I was calling for back in November because I was seeing that this is a massive left shoulder. This is a big head. And as this dumped so like significantly, I knew we we're going to have to create a massive right shoulder. You can see <laughs> in that massive right shoulder, you created another head and shoulders. Now, the smaller one is complete. However, this larger one is not complete and I'm not sure it will be completed let's see where this takes us so you can see yeah potentially it could still be completed because as I drag this across and we can see this horizontal dotted line you can see like the time-based capitulation this would still be valid basically because yeah we can see that this is not down here and then as we go across because we can see did it meet it on that day no it didn't so if it is to meet it in the future come down to that price point we need to see uh, supports uh, down at here down here but we've got supports higher than that so if the target was down here and um, we can see this ascending support I would say I do not believe this target would be met but of course this is not the case we're going from this point putting on the breakdown a breakout of the sorry the neckline which actually I need to move it in fact so your breakdown is from there and then it's basically as you can see drag it across there's still chances of this target being met the longer it takes like the not necessarily the less likely but i guess you could say that and so yeah because this is ascending we want this to be met before uh, it would actually break down out of it to meet it so yeah there's still chances of meeting this 60 dollar target but if it the longer it takes the more likely you would find a, a higher price point so we're going to go through that in today's update as we found that this was the dead cat bounce location which we called uh, nearly a year ago this is what we we're going to be measuring for the targets to the downside and this is exactly what i was suggesting how depending on how long it takes it might be a higher price target because again as i explained earlier if this was the target down here and this is this ascending support this is what's going to stand in the way from meeting this pattern's target and so that's why you pretty much stop where, where this uh where the lower end uh, is at the point you reach there because as it's ascending it's going to be a higher price point uh, the, the yeah the higher the support comes so this is the uh, actual target you still got chances of getting down there uh, you had to pretty much do it before november the 17th uh, if if but uh, we're looking likely that there are supports higher than this sitting at 67 75 and 81 dollars so i'll be looking between 75 and 81 for areas to dca some quant however we would know at this point you haven't invalidated this target you still be looking to head down to there but we might get a bounce from this area so let's get down to 75 81 we might get this bounce back up into the one fib level 94 to 100 dollars this is then resistance so that's how we then continue lower maybe just to the 1618 or down to the actual target itself okay and by yeah the end of the year pretty much so you still got chance by the end of the year we could be coming down all the way to sixty dollars but it's not a guarantee the mo more likely ones that were closer to a guarantee or literally nearly 100 percent chance of happening is between 75 to 81 dollars over here and uh from this point you can invalidate it all if we get back above 125 dollars but it's less likely that that would happen so their expectation is 
uh, $100 will be the resistance, the highest point you can go. And then we eventually continue lower. Not that you have to go there, just if you do get up, they're still not good enough. And then we do continue down to this target and maybe 60 to 67. So these are your first two targets. And then these become your next two targets, 60 to 67. So that is it from me today. At this point over here, these would be great DCA points to look for higher uh, prices in the upcoming bull market higher than this point. And uh, while this is still still being maintained, we're looking at a minimum $800 target in the upcoming bull run. Now that's just minimum. That's at the point I would start to DCA out. That's not the point I'm looking to sell everything. That's the first point of DCA and me DCA out at around $800. So that's of course nice to look forward to in the upcoming bull market, but a long way away. And again, we've just lost this uh, key area of support that we were holding for almost a year now. So we're gonna be getting these bit, uh, significant moves to the downside, is, which is what my expectation is. Unless from these first set at 75 and 81, we get this significant bounce that holds the one fib level and then flips this $125 area in support. And then it's a different situation. But until those moments, you can pump all the way up into there and still continue lower. Please do understand this. If we uh, then bounce from, let's say, the $60, $67 region and uh, we're not reclaiming the one fib level and we're not reclaiming the golden pocket, then there is chances we do get down here. But that's not really important to me as of now. We're just looking uh, for this path to the downside to meet these four targets over here, 60, 67, 75, 81. But this is where we would stop off first and you have the chance to invalidate 60 to 67 if we do something like this. But the, probably what's gonna happen is you run into the one fib level and then we continue down to these targets. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want me to teach you so you can do this on your own, message me. I've got 25% discount for the next three people who wanna do my five or 10 hours of one-to-one -one mentorship help so you can read the charts just as I do. I'm gonna give you all the tools you need to become a self-sufficient trader. So in these group calls, I'm gonna tell you the, entrant, the entries, the exits, the TPs, the stop losses, the criteria you need to enter a trade. And if these criteria are not met, you're not trading because the less times you trade, the less likely you're gonna lose. The more trades you take, the more likely you're gonna lose. So that's why we want this specific criteria being met and only then we're entering trades. So this is what I'm gonna be doing in those one-to-one -one group sessions, but I'm gonna give you three months free in my Discord community so you can be part of our group mentorship calls with other past students. Now, these other students might have learned, well, have learned from me, but they also could have had other sources to learn from. And with that, we can all share these other ideas and add to our strategies, make they're more bulletproof so if you want to be part of this community you're going to get three uh, free three months in there and this is where you're going to see my future investments for the upcoming bull market like your quant your h bar what you do see on the channel but there's many more as well and um, so you and then also on top of all of this you're going to get my six hour long video course that's been pre-recorded for you guys to fall back on uh, if you want this option uh, the mentorship option that includes all the all of the above message me for a 25 percent discount for the next three people uh, that do get involved through the links in the description and pinned comment section of this video take you to my twitter.com if you're just interested in doing the course or just joining the chat anyway uh, just take action through the website links otherwise for the discount on the mentorship message me on twitter.com like subscribe comment and share this video and i'll catch you in the next one cheers